Rui Lopez opening, Berlin, El Hermit, Berlin Wall defense. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. Nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. Nf6 advances the knight and engages in an attack on the exposed e4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Nx e4 captures the e4 pawn and places the knight in the center of the board where it controls many important squares. d4 opens up the center, attacks the e5 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. Nd6 retreats the knight to a central square where it attacks the bishop on b5. Bx c6 captures the knight and forces black to double the c pawns. Dx c6 captures the bishop opens up the d-file and allows the light-squared bishop to develop. dx e5 captures the e5 pawn, attacks the knight on d6 and controls the f6 square. nf5 moves the knight to an active square where it controls d4. qx d8 plus trades queens and stops black from castling. kx d8 recaptures the queen. Games Master It is the final book action. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. This provides an equal exchange of parts. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. This makes it impossible for the adversary to gain a pawn. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This squanders a chance to link rooks. It is incorrect. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is quite good. This prevents a rival bishop's check. It is quite good. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. That is good. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It is incorrect. This steps away from the checking bishop. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. The pawn is now suitably protected. This may succeed in winning a bishop. It is ideal. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. This suggests kicking a bishop. It is incorrect. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. The opposing bishop gets kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is ideal. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. Very precise. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This moves the bishop to safety. 
This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is best. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. It is quite good. That was a great move and very hard to find. This is the only move that works. It is brilliant. Recaptures. It is ideal. By doing this, a chance to advance a defeated piece is missed. It is incorrect. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. It is quite good. This poses a risk of winning a rook. It is ideal. This makes it impossible for the adversary to win a rook. That's good. It's alright. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. This raises a pawn to the rank of queen. It is ideal. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. White still has the upper hand, but they are no longer in a position to win. It is incorrect. This squanders a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. It's alright. That's good. When a rook retreats, this attack wins a tempo. It is ideal. This ignores a better way to move a rook to safety. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is a mistake. This loses a chance to threaten a knight and gain a tempo. It is incorrect. Although white is still in a superior position, they have lost their winning edge. It is incorrect. This attacks a knight and gains a tempo when the knight retreats. It is ideal. This misses a chance to send a knight to capture an outpost. It is incorrect. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is ideal. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. That's good. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. It is incorrect. This ignores a better way to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is a mistake. This wastes a chance to transport a knight to safety. It is incorrect. White had the advantage at first, but now they are in the lead. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This enables the adversary to threaten with a bishop and win a tempo. It is incorrect. This wins time by threatening a bishop and forcing it to retreat away. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. This is how you take down a rook. It is ideal. This moves away from the knight in shining armor. It is ideal. This accomplishes this by posing a threat to a rook and compelling it to flee. That's good. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This disregards a superior strategy for dodging the enemy rook's check. It is incorrect. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is ideal. This prevents the adversary from winning a rook. It is ideal. This kicks an opposing rook. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is excellent. The rook is now in a safe position. It is quite good. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. By pinning a pawn, this increases pressure. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. 
It is best. Very precise. It is best. That bishop was free. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This wins time by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Both players navigated the middle game well.